what's up? I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time I'm talking about some Transformers Studio Series reveals. So yeah, along with the Starscream, they talked about a couple of more figures. I'm not going to talk about the Starscream in this because there's no sense. I've already talked about it previously, but we're going to be talking about a couple of these. And for those who were concerned that the Transformers Studio Series lineup is just going to be the 1986 film, well, you'd be wrong. They're still going to continue the live action movie universe. Anyways, take a look at Bumblebee. This is going to be mostly a repaint of the Cliff Jumper that we got previously, which is no surprise. This is him in his Cybertronian form. And what's cool about this is it kind of goes full circle for Bumblebee because this is technically a remold of the Jeep Bumblebee that was made into Cliff Jumper that is now made again into Bumblebee. So that's kind of cool. But uh, taking a look at the alt mode, you can kind of see the different colors of the molded yellow plastic compared to the painted yellow which isn't really anything new it is unfortunate that even in the stock images you can definitely spot it but uh, regardless not really a big deal i've seen it before it, it's whatever at this point but the the Cybertronian alt mode does look very nice i i do like it take a look at the robot mode again it's just a yellow version of cliff jumper i know you can do something different with the legs to where they're not looking as chunky as they do in these images but uh, what's cool about the weapon is it looks like it's painted over, so that's very nice. And uh, another thing that I do like is that he's got his helmet version face. Now, I believe that the joint on the head is the exact same one from the Jeep Bumblebee. So, if you want to swap it out for the jump, uh, Jeep Bumblebee head, you could totally go ahead and do so and just have a normal face Bumblebee. So, I do like that. But the face mask does look pretty good. I do like the mold on that. And uh, overall, again, it, it's not really anything too new except for the head sculpt, but um, I still like it. Moving right along, we also have a brand new figure that definitely needed a figure in Studio Series. I don't know why it's taking so long. And that is Dino. Now, I was really anticipating Dino, but I wasn't super excited. I feel like they could do something wrong. And well, here it is. <laughs> um, the alt mode. So... This does not look like his original Ferrari, and it looks kind of weird. You can see that the sides here curve in a bit, but then it goes flat on the front. Now, I believe the original Ferrari, it's just a complete curve like this. So to see it kind of flat, it just looks like it's the wrong car. I, I don't think they could get the rights of the original car, so they had to do something different. So in regards to that, it does make sense why it's not the original Ferrari. At the same time, it's got so many panel lines to it that it just looks like it's going to be confusing and probably a mess to transform. You can see a little bit of the kibble hanging off the underneath of the alt mode. And um, I, I, I feel like this is going to be a small transformer that's going to be very fiddly. So it, it, it is definitely concerning. I probably won't mind it when I get it in person. And the fact that it, at least we're getting a Dino has me excited or Mirage if you want to go that way. But at the same time, I can't lie, the alt mode does not look pleasant to me. Uh, at least it's in the right color. <laughs> and then take a look at the robot mode. So the robot mode also had some concerns that I'm just going to get through right away. Uh, first of all, the doors seem incredibly large and it seems like they fold in from the bottom. So they tried to make it thinner, but at the same time, it's still quite large on the toy. Uh, not the biggest deal, not the biggest... Um, thing that really breaks it for me what does break it for me is all the cable hanging off so you can see that the torso seems like just a panel with with the crotch right underneath there and then inside filling it up is just all this robot bit so i guess they were trying to go for something like the the masterpiece bumblebee and how the windscreen folds into the torso but unfortunately everything is just too large to really make it look flush and it just really looks like everything just accordions to that back. It's not a pleasant sight. From some poses, it looks okay, especially when he's leaning forward. You don't really notice it, but holy crap, that is bad. Like, you couldn't just... I wouldn't mind if they just tacked something to the legs at the very least. You know, not just the side panels, but uh, maybe something to the back, because that just does not look good at all. I have to critique it. Uh, what I do like is the weapons. It seems like they'll be able to rotate around, so that might be cool. At least I think they do. Uh, the head sculpt looks gorgeous. It looks straight up like Dino, and I love that. 
Uh, and it does have some of the, the key details. It does have those things that hang out the collars. Uh, I, I do like that the chest is that nice slick design. I, I understand that they couldn't get the roof of the car into that chest. That That's whatever. That, that I'm okay with. Um, at least they try to attach it to the shoulders so that they put it somewhere that looks fine. But uh, yeah, there are quite a lot of critiques with this toy and I'm not excited to transform it, but I'm excited for the fact that they made a Dino because he never got an original toy. The only thing he got was Legends and one deluxe repaint. That was pretty much it. He never got his original toy. And so this makes up for it. And I'm glad because I like Dark of the Moon and uh, this guy will go perfectly in your Dark of the Moon collection or your Studio Series collection. I mean, I still have Farage. I'm still happy with Farage, but I wouldn't mind getting this for my Hasbro collection of Studio Series. So with that out of the way, that is pretty much it. What are you guys excited for? Or are you disappointed by these? Please comment below. Let me know. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and also fun dudes. And we'll see you guys next time.